This is All India Radio, Shillong, the Northeast News Bulletin, read by Rahul Chatterjee. The third edition of Kelo India Youth Games 2020 will begin with an opening ceremony at the Sarusarai Sports Complex in Guwahati today evening. Chief Executive Officer of the Games, Avinash Joshi, said that all preparations have been made for the Games. Technical conduct of the Games would be of international standard. Chief Minister Sarvanan Sonwal urged all to make the event a grand success and requested teachers and parents to encourage their children to come to and enjoy the Games. Talking to All India Radio, Additional Director General of Police S.N. Singh said that proper security arrangements have been put in place. With more than 6,500 athletes in 20 disciplines, including cycling and lawn bowls, which are debuting in Kelo, India, this will be the biggest talent search event in India, outnumbering the 5,925 in Pune last year, making their Kelo, India debut the Union Territory of Ladakh has single-digit representation with two archers and five boxers. Mikhail will participate in five disciplines, football, athletics, boxing, judo and shooting. Meghalaya Lokayukta Chairperson P.K. Mushahari yesterday sought assistance of the CBI to investigate into allegations of corruption against various government agencies responsible for export of various products from the state. The chairperson sought the assistance of CBI after a resident of the state filed a complaint against the Land Customs Station, Police, Sales Tax Department and other departments. The petitioner in his complaint alleged, alleged that Collusion between unscrupulous businessmen and officers of the various departments had caused a loss of over 1,000 crore rupees. The chairperson said that as there was no investigation wing of the Lokayukta, he felt it proper for a preliminary investigation to be conducted by the CBI and directed submission of report within 15 days. The Lokayukta also asked the chief secretary to look into the matter and take appropriate remedial steps with the report to be submitted on the remedies taken up within 15 days. As many as 311 schools are lying non-operational in Arunachal Pradesh due to zero enrollment. This was informed by Education Minister Taba Tedir in Assembly yesterday. Tedir, in a written reply to senior Congress member Nabam Tuki, also said that most of these defunct schools are located in remote areas of the state and attributed lack of infrastructure and mass migration to urban areas as reasons for zero enrollment. Altogether, there are 1,300 primary schools, over 300 middle-level schools, 68 higher secondary schools and 103 high schools in Arunachal Pradesh, according to a report by Unified District Information on School Education. Assam Finance Minister and NEDA convener Himanta Biswa Sarma said that 3.5 to 4 lakh people would get citizenship in the state through the Citizenship Amendment Act. Talking to newspersons in Guwahati, Mr. Sarma said that no new people would get citizenship through the Act. He further said that those who are likely to get citizenship had settled in the state during the Congress rule. The minister said that the government is ready to hold discussion with the agitators, but the agitation has taken a political turn. He alleged that agitating organizations are targeting the BJP politically of late. Tripura Chief Minister Biplab Kumar Deb has announced that around 1,100 gram sevaks will be recruited in the state soon. He made the announcement while commencing the Police Week Parade at Manoranjan Deb Barman Stadium at Agartala yesterday. Mr. Deb said, the step is to bridge the gap in relationship between police and public and particularly to maintain law and order in village areas. During the ceremony, the Chief Minister took salute from 10 March past contingents of Tripura Police. Best Policeman Awards and trophies were distributed under different categories during the ceremony. The Arunachal Pradesh Legislative Assembly has adopted a new logo reflecting the distinct identity and culture of the state. Speaker Pasan Dorji Sona had circulated pictures of the new logo among members of the House. The new logo consists of the national emblem and foxtail orchid, Rinco stylus retusa, which is the state flower. 
The symbol of national emblem signifies the federal system of the Indian constitution, while the foxtail orchid represents the state, its people, and the culture as a whole. And the blue color denotes the autonomy of the assembly secretariat. And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin, which came to you from All India Radio. Shalom. Have a nice day. Thank you.